Hello there guys and welcome. Um, Otto here. What we're going to do at this point guys is watch a nice little video from Chaos Machine. Um, he's a Greek guy, he's playing out in his French tier 9... He is a very decent player in that sense. Um, works well with the team as well, you know. Um, but Grekos is also the leader of the NSAF clan and he is very, very, very um, technical in that sense in his gameplay. He knows his stuff, you know. Baldwin as well is uh, pretty much a very good player in, in that sense as well. Um, without a doubt he is a good member of the team as well. Um, so, as you can see, this is basically domination. We have three caps A, B, and C. So they're in the Iowa and Missouri, and Chaos is here in his St. Louis T9 French Cruiser. So we've got Yamada ahead of us there on C. He's going to be taking the cap as far as we're aware. So we're going to see how this game develops. Chaos is taking his time. He's not wanting to get too. Uh, too much into the game right now. We've got a Turpitz here, two Turpitz and a St. Louis over there and an Ibuki. The Ibuki is well out of range, uh, also one of the St. Louis's as well. Um, well maybe just actually, actually just coming to range, sorry my mistake. Right here we go, so okay so in a couple of shots now on the Turpitz. Two hits directly, not really a damage in that sense though, then pretty far, nothing to, uh, to write home about you see. But there we go, some HE just went over shot. But he's going to get his eye in without a doubt, I'm sure he will. So this turf is just coming towards the cap as well. We got a couple of hits there as well. Oh, but this salvo would set a fire, fingers crossed. He's got to watch out for these incoming AP shells. And he does all right there, he's got a nice little fire going as well. But he looks like he's still burning as well, isn't he? They just repaired it out as well. We're going for the secondary surface at this point on. I'd give it a couple more seconds and I'd go back for the original surface at this point. So it's now down to the Missouri and the Iowa to deal with that uh, in the Gajamada. Chaos has gone over to B trying to defend around B. There's Volkovich there, the, uh, the uh, destroyer there ahead of us. Tier 7 destroyer. Okay, so getting some AP uh, HE shells in there and takes him for the kill. Happy days, well played on that one. Um, so now we've got an Ibuki coming into play here at this point in time. Chaos drops a couple of torps off as well and is back, back with the HE shells. So he's had a couple of shots in there. He gets himself a nice fire, defends the cap as well. Ink pantation on one of the modules on the Ibuki as well. We've still got AP in, uh, sorry, HE in at this point as well. I would have potentially switched over to AP, but he has done so now. Um, two seconds for a reload. And there we go as well. So, with even the waterline there, that angle, granted, he still would fire a waterline on that angle, but anything past that point on, he's probably not any damage, they've got to be on the superstructure at that point. Oh my word, Torps inbound. Oh, has he got the skills? Has he got the skills? Oh, he certainly has made it through. He's slowing himself down. Here we go. Bit of AP now on the Ibuki, nice little citadel there midship. He's got himself another salvo here, can he get another citadel? Yes he can, happy days midship. The Ibuki is now 1197 health at this point. And okay, I send the next salvo at this point as well and takes him out. He's narrowly avoided some torps that would just went past in there as well. Put himself in reverse to evade them. But now the Leningrad's here. It's just full of DDs this game. Four on one side and three on the other. So Leningrad has now disappeared. He's got his Hydro up, as you can see. He's getting shot at now by the Leningrad. Okay, still playing it safe and backing itself up here. 
and he's going to be popping on now on the French battleship over there, selling a couple of AP shells on that one. So Torp's inbound. They put yourself some le left rudder stick on there to evade uh, this as well. Doing quite well, get out of there. And now Kess has got himself on fire at this point on. And we're receiving more shots, he's taking his guns over there to the Tirpitz, but he has gone. He's now back on the Leningrad at this point. Give the Leningrad a couple of salvo there, and takes a little bit of, a, bit of 2,772 health off him now, I think it was. And more shells inbound as well. 1,848 there. He really needed that back gun around. So as you can see the team's got all three caps at this point in time. So this team cares for teams to do something now at this point to regain these caps. Also destroy over there 12.3 kilometers away. Case has taken a couple of shots at him as well. And it seems to be doing uh, well, to so on target, just a uh, little, not enough lead, should we say, but yeah, he did well on there, so more tops inbound, Chaos is well away from them ones, after days. So it looks like we've lost um, Bulban over there as well, now just Grekos over there in the Iowa. So we've got the Leningrad here again. Nice, nice hit there. So Chaos has two kills now, two Citadels and two Fires at the moment. Defended the base three times. So another Salvo going into the Leningrad here. Looking tasty, looking tasty. Took him for his health. So now we have the uh, Fred de Gross over there. Tier 9 German Battleship, 14.7 kilometers away. He wants to keep away from this at this point. Without a doubt though, there's a ghost not shooting at Chaos, but he's detected again after firing. But he wants to watch out for that island at this point. Oh, what, 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 what? <laughs> Take it easy. <clears throat> right, so here we go then, he's back on the Degrossa, sending more salvos at him. And he's trying to get the uh, bigger ship down and lower down his health for Grekos in the, um, the IO at this point.
like they're on target. Casey has now just sent a shot out and got a fire on him. And he's not detected because he's used that terrain to his advantage there and not being, not being protected at all. So he's, he's doing well with this one as well. So then Torps definitely do look like they're on target there. Is that definitely one, two. So he's flooding them out as well, so he's getting more points from this point in, guys. Which I do appreciate this game, it's very well played. It's, it's So, with this being said then guys, um, I would appreciate any of you guys actually going ahead and visiting K